probably don't remember her too much. Well. Come on. Come on. Oh, thanks. Hi. Hi. I appreciate that chair. <laughs> Hi, Molly. be going down to the uh, field line. You're okay. I got to find him anyway. The scene is beautiful. Right. Yeah, right over the old car. I just as soft as can be. I can't pick him out. What's going to rain? Oh, yeah, well. <laughs>
first ones to walk in there. and the Executive Director of Administrative Services, Mr. Harry Wise. And finally, I'd like to introduce some students that should be near, near and dear to you, graduates. They certainly are to me. I've known them for the three years that I've been here. They're exceptional. They're your senior class officers, President Ryan Brom, <laughs> Vice President Stephanie Bingham, Secretary Nick Neary, and Treasurer Marty Ward. Yeah. Class of 1999, like I said uh, previously, I've been here, this is my third year, so I've been with you for three years. I think you're an exceptional group of young people. I'm so proud of you. You have been fun, and you've been just great as students. And I'm so pleased to see all of you here ready to graduate today. It is my pleasure now to introduce President of our school board, Dr. Vic Knight. Yeah. Very briefly, I'm just going to welcome all of you to the graduation ceremony this afternoon. 345 young men and women.
Each senior who sought her out for assistance would not only help to solve their particular problem, but she went beyond traditional expectations, and she befriended and supported her students. She related to us, and we trusted her. We felt that she knew us all personally, and she was genuinely interested in our success, whatever our goals may have been. I personally gained a great deal of support throughout my high school experience from Mrs. Sitter. She was there from the beginning, and I leaned on her at different times through the years. She was never too busy, and she always seemed to be on track with my progress. She had faith in me, and she was always there in the background. Her personal knowledge of my accomplishments was related to the Cantu family, and I was honored to receive the Ryan Carpenter Memorial Scholarship solely on Mrs. Sitter's recommendation. I will always be grateful to her for remembering me. Thank you for guiding us to our future. It is here. And we are prepared to succeed because of you. Looks Thank like you. expected more of her address. <laughs> Service to your school and community is extremely important. Hopefully you've learned that in your years here. We get to honor now a young man who has been selected as the outstanding uh, member of your class for providing outstanding service to Elsinore High School. I've known him for four years, so I'm uh, extremely proud to be able to introduce him as well. But he's been very active in both ROTC and the Drama Club, primarily in the technical crew, which he has led for a couple of years. And I think uh, he's spent probably thousands of hours up in the rafters of the theater doing things uh, for the drama department and the school in general, as well as ROTC activities. So it's with great pleasure that I honor Daniel Williams, the outstanding service. Outstanding senior to a very special student. Special because this student's extreme desire to succeed, special because of his tenacious attitude, and special because of some of his abilities. Now, I was able to capture some of these abilities throughout his life, and I'd like to share those with you here for a moment. At age three, this male student was able to harass fifth and sixth graders at the bus stop daily. At age five, it was told to me that while on a trip to Idaho Falls, Idaho, this student was caught swinging on a barrier that was 250 to 300 feet above the falls. 
parents went crazy. At age 10, imagine this. While staying at an embassy suite, he was caught climbing from the 10th Board of Trustees for two full terms. He attended a leadership conference in Kansas City, Missouri, and he received six scholarships based on merit. It gives me great pleasure to present the Senior of the Year Award to one of the most determined young persons I've ever known, the 1999 male version of the Outstanding Senior, Mr. Ryan Braun. story so he probably knew. Clay, early this year from Cancer for Living. Now I'm not going to go into all the activities she was involved in and everything that she's accomplished because for those of you who do know Linda, you already know all this. And for those of you who hadn't, have to, hadn't had the opportunity to know her, all I can say is that you really missed out on a great little girl. Linda has always played an important role in my life all the way from third grade. It is truly unexplainable how hard it is to tell you it how much I miss little Linda, and how much part of my life she was taken away from. She was physically taken from all of our AP classes together this year, being my treasurer for this senior class. In November, choosing and applying to our colleges. In December, doing our eye search projects at the last minute. In January, taking our trip to Sacramento with the AP government class. In March, the excitement and disappointment of our college acceptance letters. In April, going to our senior prom. In May, stressing and cramming for our big tests. These last couple of weeks, as we've had a blast counting down the days. Right now, as I stand here at our graduation, wearing this white stole representing National Honor Society that we both belong to, and for the rest of my life. But through all this, she was never taken away from my heart and my thoughts. Because through all these activities I've just mentioned, I have within myself made her a part. Many times in our lives, we take the presence of those close friends for granted, as I did Linda. If you look around right now, to the friends you've chosen to sit next to, it's impossible to imagine <clears throat> that even tomorrow they cannot be there. Everybody really needs to think about this. Cherish the moments, the moments you spend with your friends and families, for these moments can be taken away at any time. Through all the years I spent with Linda, elementary, junior high, and high school, I never once thought, or even imagined, for not being here with us. This is not a pleasant thought to most of us, but at times it's necessary in order for us to realize how blessed we are for those who share our lives with us. Most people don't really appreciate what they have until it's gone. For Linda.
Like most of you, I assume, I've been experiencing a wide spectrum of emotions over the past few weeks. I've been happy about completing my school, afraid of leaving my parents and friends, anxious about my life outside of the security of the home I grew up in, and excited and nervous about becoming an official adult all at the same time. We are all going through this vast array of emotions, no matter if you're going on to college, the armed forces, or on to a new career. Graham Greene said, there's always one moment in childhood when the door opens and lets the future in. That moment is today. And as we start to get a peek at our futures, I want to leave you with a few of my own personal reflections that I hope will stimulate reflections of your own. And if just one of these makes an impact on the way you view your future, the goal of my speech will be accomplished. Throughout my life, I have learned that you can only get out of life what you put into life. I challenge all of you not to wait for an opportunity to land in your lap, but to venture out, create and find your own. Be strong and decisive in the way you live your lives, but remain sensitive all the while. Smile at someone every day because it could be the only one that they receive all day. Realize the importance of your family and value the short time that you have with them. Help not only yourselves, but others along the way. Be the person who brings love to a world laced with hate. Enter into friendships with good people and be a true friend in return. Seize the opportunity to love and deny yourself the temptation to hate. Be confident in who you are and what you believe. And if you are not, look into your soul and find out what makes you tick. All of these bits of it. <laughs> she said, woo. It's hard to know what to say on occasions like this, so I took the shortcut and asked John Pham's sister what I should say. And she wrote, she wrote a lot, I'll just summarize. Uh, John is going to UCLA, and we're very proud that he's going to UCLA. And she said that her, her mother is worried that when John goes to college, she's not afraid of the cost of college, it's the cost of the food that she's afraid of. That John eats an awful lot, but he's still a slim, slim guy. He's always fooling himself. Get which he or she will receive. And so, Dr. Knight, the class of 1999 from Elsinore High School. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, having been assured these young men and women have completed the course of study as required by the State of California, I declare you graduates of Elsinore High School. Sides at the same time. Natalie Bigby. 
Ronald Rios. Rainbow B. John Doe. Beverly Kessler. What is your name? Christopher Bushnell. Laura Insday. Doug Bergamo. April Batag. Ryan Siebert. Richard Mendez. Aaron Sloan. Mark Johnson. Nicholas Deniri. Jeremy Knapp, Philip Garrett, Jeff Corbett, Kenneth Jubala, Fred Bartlett, Jason Hudson, Candace DeVildis, David Barbosa, Joshua Sison, Jacob Fowler, Joseph Galvan, Kenny Salvatore Goli, Frankie Loera, Crystal Berman, Christina Bagley, Ernesto Oliveira, Linda Green, Eddie Marillo. Vitella, Stephen Stebbings, Michael Rothman, James Mack, Sean Kennedy, Jeremy Mylum, Stephanie Griffith, Joseph Whitaker, Simon Roos, James Early, Sarah Jane Schaefer. Tiana Rochelle Turner, Chris Bodegel, Robin Swick, Shamir Steyer, Sarah Leonard, Eddie Soto, Scott Cooper, Catherine Raymond, Jamie Vanderpool, Hillary Rose Martinez, Dorothy Garcia Hoover, Carrie Beth Hamilton, Rebecca Fernstad, Kelly Ann Roney, Brad Danahe, Renee Robin Finley, Patrick Ford, Misty Sarmiento, Jenny Jones, Shanae Williams, Philip Lorenzini, Adrian Smith, Joseph. Christina Jeffers, Jeremy Burnham, Amy Fascio, Dennis Fury, Lorraine Kukalik, Daniel Williams, Laura Rumley, Dorothy Chapman, Tracy Livingood, Anna Miskovich, Natalie Clonch. Richard Toussaint, yeah. Nicole Bush, Elda Ramirez, Desiree Juco, Christopher Ike, uh -huh. Victoria Williams, Daniel Estrada, Angelina Malberg, Garrett Dykstra, Kalani Winfrey, Wesley uh, Sis, that was wasn't it? <laughs> Nicole Babcock, Daniel Baker, Christy Morales, Derek Morasti, Leia Kaiser, Sergio Chavez, Michelle Smith, Jason Jordan, Melanie Urich. Travis Simmons, Eric Pratt, Michael Kidder, 
<laughs> Rick Walters, you know what you are, man, buddy. I don't have to explain this to you. Thanks a lot. No, All right, toss 99. Please stand. Move your tassels from the left to the right. Congratulations, guys. We made it. Congratulations, Kenny Jubala. Take, take off your glasses so I can see who you are. Now get a job. My job, it's Ken. Is it ready? No. <laughs> 13. <laughs> oh, God. It's about time you graduated. Grandpa filming something. And there's Sam.